Well, our fair started in 1972, and you know we joined a farm in what 2017 or took over ownership in 2017. You know I've been farming since '92 and year '97 full time. And we worked here all the time. Yeah. Uh, we milked before at a 44 stall or stanchion barn. It was built in 1913 and it was time to do something, I guess. And we looked at a lot of different facilities and we came up with a robot barn. So. Tell us a little bit about uh, you know, the current operation now in Calcium Mill. Uh, we're currently milking. Up to 68 in the robot and I handle it just fine and uh, we're down a little now but the surrender will be back up probably at 70 cows and we crop farm 370 acres of crop land to go along with the dairy and you know cooks their own feed and stuff raise all their own young stock. Uh, 2021, you guys decided to convert your, your extension barn, your dairy barn, our operation to the current robotic milking system. Uh, tell us about you know, how and why you guys decided to, to go work with that project. Well, milking in a you know stanchion barn, it's hard on the cows. It's hard on you. You know your body. It's not easy on the cows. We. We're kind of tired of bringing heifers in, nice looking heifers, and just hoping they survive in the barn. In the new facility, you're going to be able to see what an animal, you know, what their genetic potential is, hopefully, see what they can do. They perform a lot better, and it's definitely a lot easier on our bodies. You know, the work mode is, you still have a lot of work to do, but it's a lot, a lot less physical labor and a lot more, you know, Observing cows, seeing how the cows are doing, and things like that. Yeah, it's uh, definitely better for the cows. They move around, lay where they want, eat when they want. And, you know, we've had no trouble with a heifer since then. I mean, what it's been now, nine months they've been in it. Yeah, we haven't had any trouble with new heifers at all. They actually. 